Manamana. Manamana. Hey, you come here often? No, it's my it's my first time. I, I just got my membership today. I'm really psyched to you know get in shape, lose some of this weight. Yeah, it looks like looks like you need to. <laughs> oh. Man, you know, that's not nice. You shouldn't shouldn't be mean to people like that. I'm happy with the way I am, but I think I can improve both. This treadmill is stupid. Don't use the treadmill. Um, well, it's always good to improve your self-image by working out. Well, yeah, but you don't have to hurt people. Some people used to weigh 450 pounds. Some people have worked to get where they are. How did you know? Have you been speaking me? No, of course not. I've never... No. Say! You know what I heard on the radio this morning? It was pretty pretty weird and not at all an attempt to change the subject. <laughs> I heard Cat in the Hat Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> it, was, it was the secret code word of the day. I think I heard that too. Well, that's how I got my membership. It was you come to the gym, you, you tell them Cat in the Hat Huckleberry Finn, and they'll give you a free membership for the day. That's weird. That's not what I heard. It's not? No. Well, they made you pay for mine. Oh. Well, how long have you been a member? Um, for years. I don't know, their weird brochures got me. It said, we have to ride in the cheesemobile because it stopped bleeding snakes. And I just <laughs> wanted to see a place that managed to stop snakes from bleeding. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, it would be an impressive medical feat. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Really? One pound? <laughs> That's just... I, I could lift more than that. Really. Man, you know, not everybody, you know, comes to the gym already buff, okay? I mean, they kind of, like, you come to the gym to, like, build muscle. And to look like me. And, and that. But it's, it's like, not about physical strength, it's about state of mind. You have to, I've, I've got a state of mind, you know? Oh, yeah. You know what my state of mind is What's next time I come here? The my state of mind is, once, when I was younger, my fishbowl exploded in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> now let See, that's a violent thing. You can't be thinking violence. See, that, what, what, do you what do you think I'm lifting free weights? I'm thinking of explosions. I'm thinking of fishbowls, right? Because fishbowls, you know, they're like a metaphor for, for like, muscles <laughs> in the ocean. You know, in the water. <laughs> no, you see, you gotta... You know those monks, you see? Those monks that are, like, they could break, like, 800 boards with a single karate chop, and they're, like, spindly? You, you know those guys? They kind of look like him. Yeah, like, I used to be a monk. Really? <laughs> yeah, I had a hair on it, lost the robes, went to something a bit cooler. I don't know if I wait, can wait, talk wait, to this, you this anymore. Is, this, is, this is cooler than I... Have you seen a monk's robes? Yeah. My mom always told me to look out for monks. She always said that um, I feel self-conscious about the way my knees smell when monks are around, so I don't know. Just a memory of my mother. I don't think I can talk to you anymore. Well, that's okay, because the first thing you learn is to deal with it. That's the first lesson at monk school. <laughs> but we're not at monk school. We're at the gym. Well, no, but lessons from monk school can be applied through my teacher, my mentor, my idol at monk school, Monk Joe. He was very serene. He'll have three letters in his name. That's how serene he was. He said to me... It'd be more serene if it was J. Oh. Just say. Yeah, are, are, you, are you a monk? No, I don't think so. Three <laughs> is a prime number, an odd number. Two is an even number. Wait, two is also, also a prime, prime but number. But it's an even number. <laughs> it's the only even prime. Monks are a little crazy. Okay. Hey! You listen to my story, and let me tell you my story. You were the one telling me about some more kind of words. Okay, tell your story. Monk Joe, J-O-E, Joe, he told me, he said, Young monk, if you are ever going to learn the ways of the monk, I was born without an imagination. <laughs> that's, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I allowed him to see the world unblinded by possibilities, unblind, un, un, un see everything Could. as it was because he couldn't imagine things he couldn't say wow what if that wall was pink he couldn't he saw it as it was and it allowed him to see the world and be at peace with it and once you have that inner peace you can have that inner strength you need to lift at least 
two or three pounds. But then how can you possibly understand how someone feels when they feel weird about how their knees smell? You, you know what? you can't imagine it. Because you have to live it. Monk Joe was later arrested on charges for going around sniffing people's knees because he wanted to experience it. That's probably what your mom was talking about, but we're not all you, like you know, that. I think I, I think I saw that story in the paper. Like, I, I remember that one because it was right beside, you know, the headline story, which which was actually really personal to me, because um, it was a relative of mine. Uh -huh. Anyway, the, he the headline read, Don't hit your brother. <laughs> I remember that story. That was, that was an awful story. It, it broke me inside. It, it also broke my brother. <laughs> Peace be upon you. Moving on to the two pounds. You can do it! I believe in you. Godspeed. I'm gonna go wash my knees. Godspeed! <laughs> you can do it. Phenomena. <laughs> 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 <laughs>